why your tension is defeating you in practice. Wilderness Tactical has been around for longer than the gun you're carrying has been, and they have been making high quality products for concealed carriers for literally decades. I wear their low pro belt every year. The webbing is the best in the industry and I won't wear anything else. If you're looking for a good CCW belt, check them out. Hey guys, Brian Hill with The Complete Combatant. Welcome to Active Self Protection Extra and this is Suck Less Saturday. Uh, I want you to think about tension in a different way. Uh, tension is the prejudgment of the outcome and it is a correction that doesn't need to be made. You're judging what's going to happen by tensing your body up and preparing to correct for errors that have not occurred. That's what tension is before you, you do any drill. And it means a lack of trust in your ability to do it. There are only two things that can happen when you're performing or practicing. Number one, it's going well, so you'll continue to do that. When you do fail, and we all will, that's when you'll pay attention and it'll get you back on track and then you'll continue to perform well. Number two, if you are not performing well and you have a failure, what it's going to do is teach you how to improve. So tension would be the opposite of that. It would be bearing down and forcing. But if you wanna watch your shooting and see how it can teach you to improve and be curious about it instead of trying to bear down and do it harder. This judgment means that you're outcome driven always and you're outside of the process. You're worrying about what the result of the shooting will be instead of actually being present for the process. So I would encourage you guys to and try to relax, but of course you've been told your whole life, just relax, and you don't find a good way to do that. So I'm gonna give you two easy ways to do it. Number one is make a continuous exhale. As you exhale, your body will relax, your lungs will move, and your mind will be in motion. If that doesn't work for you, because sometimes it, since it's inaudible, we don't recognize that we went back to holding our breath, what I'd like you to do, as strange as it sounds, is to hum. As you draw the firearm, and look for that point where you had that little bit of tightness, and then start working to get rid of that. So the idea is this, as I draw, I start my hum, and it's continuously smooth through the process. That means that I'm not tensing up. This is a biofeedback uh, process which allows us to feel tension as a sound instead of a feeling. Some of us are so naturally tight, we try so hard that we're unable to do anything except bear down. So what I tell everybody in class is quit trying hard, try medium. Frankly, trying hard as a coach is not a very good thing. It usually means there's an overcorrection coming. Uh, if you're playing football, it means you make the wrong decision or commit to something you shouldn't have. Same thing in the fight game. So in shooting, that's what I see also. So I want you to stop trying hard, and I'd like you to try medium. That means to be present and either continue what you're doing or let the shooting teach you whatever lesson is you need to teach and then stop prejudging the outcome by tensing up. I hope you guys will find this helpful. This is a very difficult lesson I'm offering you today, but I think it can be very impactful because that whole idea of putting your brakes on right before you need to move in the fastest time that you can is contradictory. And we see a lot of people bearing down and doing extra. Remember, some people are incredibly athletic, so they can afford to be very inefficient in their movement and apply extra tension. But for me, I don't want to apply extra error that I have to correct for and I don't want to judge the outcome, and I want the shooting to continue to teach me. I want my curiosity to manifest itself so I stay ahead of the process. I hope that'll help you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, you good people, please leave a comment. Uh, leave a like. Uh, the negative people outweigh the good comments because good people get to work and you guys go into practice. So if you get a chance, we would really appreciate it if you leave something positive on the channel or something you learn from it or an observation. I'm Brian Hill with The Complete Combatant, and as always, measure, refine, and perform.